Oh boy, heads up animal lovers, you better make sure that you watch today's story alone in a quiet room. It's not one that you want to watch at work or in public. This one is sure to make you grab the tissues. This is a story of a man who adopted a shelter dog that seemed to be stubborn but turned out to just be sad, and how the dog's previous owner turned out to help them form a bond. When Tom got his dream job, he knew that it was going to be a huge adjustment. He was moving away from the home that he had known all of his life, out of the city to a small town, and away from every single person that he had ever known and loved. His family would stay in the city, and it would be a long drive to get to them. Once there, he had no way he could make it too regularly. But he also knew that this was a shot that he had to take. Opportunities like this didn't come often, and he had to grab it. So he packed his car and went on his way to his new life. His job had organized his new home for him, and it was pretty awesome. In the city, he would never have been able to afford such a big place, and he even had a backyard. One thing about living in a smaller town, he might be able to finally get a dog that he had been dreaming of for a very long time. The people were great, and he quickly made friends and built up new contacts. Everywhere he went, people would wave at him. He couldn't even just step out to buy bread without someone striking up a conversation. He heard all about the town, youngsters that made trouble, heroes that had come from the area, and all the local gossip. It was a strange new way of life, but surprisingly for a city boy, Tom really loved it. He was sure that this was where he was going to plant his roots. With everything starting to fall into place, Tom decided that there was one more thing that was missing from the picture. His dog. He searched the local papers. In small towns, it was still common practice, and found an ad by the local shelter advertising a big black Labrador named Reggie. Tom knew how loyal and intelligent labs are, and it quickly caught his attention. Starting with an adult dog would cut down on the training time, too. It seemed to be perfect. Tom quickly got in his car and drove to the shelter. He was impressed with the facilities. The lady explained that they were a no-kill shelter. Everything was clean and the dogs seemed to be happy. They were allowed to play outside, but then they got to the kennel holding Reggie. Reggie wasn't outside playing with the other dogs, and he didn't show much attention to the humans when they got close. He was laying with a ball between his paws and didn't even look up. The shelter lady explained that this was a dog that did everything with his previous owner. Life in a shelter wasn't something that he was used to and he was miserable. They had a few people respond to their ad for Reggie, but they didn't seem like the right fit. Now, with Tom, they had hope that it would work. Before he could find out more, the lady had to leave to take a phone call, and by the time she came back, Tom had made up his mind. He was going to take this dog home. They warned him that it might take a few days to adjust, but he wasn't worried. He was convinced Reggie was going to love him in no time, but that's not how it worked out. Walking out, the shelter gave Tom a bag of Reggie's belongings. There was a dog bed and a bunch of toys, most of them just tennis balls. They also gave Tom some paperwork to sign and a sealed letter from Reggie's previous owner. At home, Reggie refused to get out of the car. Tom eventually had to carry him and put him in his dog bed. He opened the bag of toys next to him and immediately Reggie grabbed the ball in his mouth. Then he once again lay down in his dog bed and didn't move. It was really sad, but Tom hoped it would get better. It didn't. For weeks, Tom tried to get the dog to interact and play with him. He wouldn't even come when he called him by his name. He tried to play fetch with him a few times, but Reggie would get up, grab the ball, and then lie down with it underneath him. Eventually, he looked like a chicken hatching some eggs but he didn't want to play with Tom. All the great commands that the shelter assured Tom that Reggie knew went completely out the window. He would give the command, and Reggie just turned his back on Tom. Sometimes it looked like the dog was rolling his eyes. Tom didn't know what to do with this dog. He was hoping they would have a bond, but not even store-bought treats got his attention. Tom was losing hope. It had been more than two weeks and longer than the shelter had predicted that it would take. Would Reggie possibly be happier with someone else? Tom didn't know, but he couldn't live with a dog who hated him. He decided that it might be time to call the shelter and ask them to get Reggie a new home. He was willing to foster him until they got him a new situation, but he couldn't go on like this. He searched for the shelter's number, but he couldn't find it. Then he remembered he had never brought the paperwork in from the car. He went outside to get it, and that was when he saw the letter from the previous owner. He had completely forgotten about this letter. Tom had made up his mind to return Reggie, 
But it couldn't hurt to just read the letter, right? Maybe there was some sort of magical insight. The letter started out by addressing whoever gets my dog, and the previous owner saying that he wasn't happy that someone was reading this letter. He had hoped that no one would ever have to read the letter, and that he would have been back and reunited with his pup. Then he said that since it was being read, he would tell the new owner some things about the Black Lab to help them bond. First up, he spoke about how much Reggie loved tennis balls. This is one thing that Tom already knew. The letter said, Sometimes I think he's part squirrel the way he hoards them. He usually always has two in his mouth, and he tries to get a third in there. Hasn't done it yet and how much the owner wished he was there if it ever did happen. Reggie would chase balls anywhere, and that came with a warning not to throw them in dangerous situations like traffic, as he would most definitely chase them. The letter explained the commands that Reggie knew, and at this Tom snorted. He had not seen the dog react to a single command. It went on to explain his feeding schedule and the vet that used to care for him. The owner begged Tom to take Reggie with him everywhere. For his entire life, it was just Reggie and his owner. Reggie was the only family the owner had. They went everywhere together, and he loved to be around people. Then, the letter took an unexpected turn. The words shocked Tom. He just loves to be around people, and me most especially. This means that this transition is going to be hard, with him going to live with someone new. And that's why I need to share one more bit of info with you. His name's not Reggie. The owner explained that giving his real name felt like an admission that they would never be reunited, one he couldn't make. But now he had to share it to help the dog in his new life. The dog's real name was Tank, because that was what the owner drove. He explained that he was being deployed and had no one to leave Tank with. The shelter promised to keep him and only put him up for adoption if they got the word that the owner was never coming back. When Tom saw who the owner was, he cried. The letter was signed, Paul Mallory, a hometown boy who was one of the heroes everyone spoke about. He had died saving three friends in action. He called softly to Tank, and right away the dog perked up. He had been waiting for his name. When asked to play ball, his entire body shook. When Tom threw the ball, Tank ran to fetch it and came back with three tennis balls in his mouth. Thanks for watching our video today. Come back again for even more inspiring stories.